probably the most exciting aspect of the uh, rat race and the reason so many people stay in the rat race all their lives is this card here, doodads. Doodads are the things that make life worth living. For instance, having a nice car, nice clothes, nice watch, jewelry, going out to dinner, new stereo equipment. The problem with doodads is doodads keep most people broke. And this is why they buy doodads thinking they're assets as it goes back to the financial statement here. In traditional accounting, you're allowed to count a doodad as an asset when it's really a liability. For example, let's say I buy a boat. Your banker will allow you to list your boat as an asset when it really is a liability. The reason people do that is because they've not been trained financially to, look, to actually read a financial statement. And many people think their house is an asset when it's really a liability. You know, when your banker says to you your house is an asset, your banker's not really lying to you. He's just not saying whose asset it is. Your house is really your bank's asset. So that's why the do dad card is so important. The way my rich dad taught me to enjoy the good things of life, because I don't believe in living frugally, I don't believe in living below my beans, I don't believe in saving money. I believe first in buying assets, and then my assets will buy my doodads. That's how the rich do it. The middle class, unfortunately, and the poor, they buy doodads first and never have any money left over to buy assets. For example, a number of years ago, I wanted a new Porsche. I had $50,000 in cash on the savings line here. Instead of buying the cash, buying the Porsche with the cash, I went out and bought a piece of real estate. That piece of real estate then gave me the cash flow via which I could buy my Porsche. So today I have my Porsche, which is still a liability because I have upkeep, upkeep on it, like insurance and repairs and tires and gasoline. But I also still have my piece of real estate, and in many ways I still have my $50,000. So the way you can buy all the doodads you want, all the wonderful toys of life, all you have to do is first buy assets first, doodad second. That's the way you get rich and enjoy the good life. I personally do not believe in living below my means, being frugal, or denying me the wonderful things that life offers me. If you want a boat, have your boat. But buy an asset first, boat second. And that's the secret to getting rich and having all the doodads you want so you can keep up with the Joneses and pass them with cash flow.